Hey, and thanks for watching. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to show you a technique commonly used in the industry to take the sum product function in Excel and calculate the weighted average of some string of values when modeling real estate. Now, I most commonly see this used with, say, uh, sale or lease comp tables or summary rent roll tables. But really, when you have a string of values and some weight that needs to be assigned to each one of those values, this formula can quickly do that calculation for you. So here I have just a sales comp table. I've got five sales comps. Uh, these are apartment projects. And you'll notice that each one of, of these complexes have a different number of units. And so when I wanna calculate my average square feet for the comp set, I could either just do a straight average Right, and I do that, and it gives me an average 911 square feet per property. But that's not exactly right. And if you because if we dig in, we'll see that Rhodes Way here only has 155 units, and these are larger units than say the Evans Spring that has 310 units, but almost 250 square feet on average smaller. And so we need to take an, a weighted average square feet for uh, this column. And so the first way to do it is just how you learned in seventh grade math, right? Uh, we multiply each one of our values by the weight, right? We do that. We do that for each one of our components. So you'll notice here, I simply calculate the total square footage. I sum that up. And then I take that and I divide it by the sum of the weights, the weights again being the units. And it gives us 897. And you'll see this used as well. Oftentimes uh, brokers, when they're building these tables, they'll have a, a different column and it'll be total square footage and it will be this amount and, and it makes it easy to calculate that weighted average square footage or we can use this formula and the formula is equals some product and if you're unfamiliar with the sum product function in Excel it takes one array or any series of arrays and it multiplies those arrays by one another right so what I do is I take the first array would be the components that I'm averaging and in this case square footage and I do comma, and then I do my second array, which is the weight. And in this case, the weight is the number of units per property. And close parentheses, and what the, what's gonna happen here is this sum product is going to take the first value in this array and multiply it by the first value in the second array. And then it will take the second value in the first array and multiply it by the second value in the second array. And do that all the way through one through five in this case, or you could have an array that's 3,000 cells long. And once it's done that multiplication, it will add all those values up. And so if I just stop there, hit enter, you'll see 1.128 million square feet, and we can confirm that that is correct. And so then to do, or to finish our weighted average, what do we do? Well, we go sum of our weights here, close parentheses and hit enter and we get 897. Now, there's one other weighted average that I wanna do here and that's price per unit. And I can either just manually write the formula again or I can borrow the formula that I just wrote and copy it over here to the right. And in order to do that, I need to lock in my weights uh, or make my weighted array absolute. And I do that by just simply mousing over the values in my sum product here and then hitting F4. I'll do that for both that and that. So F4 on each one of those, that makes those absolute such that when I copy this out to the right, the components that we're averaging, uh, in this case here from square footage to price per unit, that moved when I copied, but our units, which is our weight in this case, stayed uh, absolute. Hit enter, and so our price, our average price per unit, 
192,584. And that's using the sum product function in Excel to calculate weighted average in real estate financial modeling. Let me know if you have any questions about this. Again, this is a technique that I use quite a bit. I know most people in the industry use it quite a bit, so it's good to master. Uh, but if, there are, if you do have any questions, uh, please let me know. I'm happy to answer those. Otherwise, thanks for your time. Thank you.